Hey, this is Josh. In this video, I'm going to break down how to create a CSS file. You actually don't need any special tooling installed on your computer to do this. You can see in front of me, I have Visual Studio Code. This is a great code editor. It has a lot of capability, but you don't need anything like this in order to create your first CSS file. What you do need is text edit on a Mac or notepad on a Windows machine, and that will help you get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my text edit since I'm on a Mac, and I will show you how to get started creating CSS in something as simple as this. Let's say we're going to select our button class and we're going to give it a background color of red and we're gonna give it a color of white. So I'm gonna create a background color here of red and a color of white and I've just used tabs to give it a little bit of extra spacing this is uh, you can use spaces if you'd like to but this is pretty common and you'll see that it auto corrected my first word here it actually capitalized the word button so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that change because the button tag would not be capitalized that CSS would not work to select what I wanted it to do now since we've done this all we have to do is now save it and it becomes a CSS file. Let me show you how. I'm gonna go ahead and save this, and I'm gonna make sure and save it alongside the same folder that I have my HTML in. This is gonna make it so much easier to link this up when the time comes. Now, the I'm gonna call it styles.css, styles.css. Now, since I gave it the CSS extension, that makes it a CSS file. In fact, that a CSS extension is exactly what defines a CSS file and allows the browser to understand what it's reading. So I can just go ahead and hit my save button here. I'm going to use .css on the Mac and make sure it's saved with that extension so that we can pull it in as CSS later. Now that I've done that, I can go ahead and use the CSS that I've written. Let's see how. Now I'm gonna pop back into Visual Studio Code. This is uh, the editor that I was talking about before, and you can see that we now have our styles.css that we wrote in here, and we have our index.html. So let's talk about really quickly how we get our styles to link to our HTML so that we actually see the button change to red. First of all, let me go ahead and preview this to show you exactly what we are seeing right now. And you can see the CSS is not currently applied. What I need to do is use the link tag to get my CSS to link to my HTML. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here in the head section of the HTML, and I'm going to write out a link tag, and I'm gonna say rel equals style sheet. This basically just says, hey, browser, this is a style sheet, read this as a style sheet. If you don't put that in there, it's not going to understand that this is CSS. And I'm gonna say href, and that's gonna be the location of my CSS file. In this case, since it's alongside me index.html, all I have to do is give it the name of the file itself. So I'm going to say styles.css, and that's going to link my HTML to my CSS. You can see that immediately took effect as soon as I did that. If you are trying to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and beyond, be sure to subscribe to this video series so I can bring you more videos like this every single day. I'll see you in the next video.